Hi and thank you so much for watching. I'm Sanna and welcome to my perfume channel. Today let's continue our Middle Eastern saga. So this is the part two of my Middle Eastern perfume collection. If you are a blind buyer like myself, I hope this helps you out. Let's start with the latest edition and it's Mora Silky Rose by Latafa. And this one is your fruity rose. The vibe Silky Rose creates is this feminine, careless, outgoing vibe. The fruits that stand out to me the most are raspberry, lychee and watermelon. It's not a dew per se, but imagine this combination. Delina, the original Delina, plus Armani C, plus Lancome Idol Ora. The lychee and fresh young rose from Delina and the juicy watermelon from Lancome Idol Ora. Imagine you're sitting in a rose garden and having a glass of rosé. In Silky Rose there is also some watery and spicy, lightly spicy elements. And in the dry down you will be met with patchouli. It stayed on my skin for around 8 hours with a nice projection. On the sweeter side, but I wouldn't say it's cloying. The sweetness is in the right balance. So Mora Silky Rose by Lataffa. A great fruity rose fragrance for spring summer day. The next fragrance is Aura by Lataffa. And this is definitely inspired by Baccarat Rouge 540 Extra. Aura is very diffusive, super long lasting, creates a molecular cloud around you. Performs best outdoors. I wore it yesterday and it was pretty windy. I was able to smell Aura around myself all day. So they chose a very good name for this fragrance. These close notes are white florals, cinnamon, saffron, honey, Turkish rose. And in the dry down you can expect to smell sandalwood, vanilla and woods. I got like a cotton candy accord together with woody aspects and saffron. It's sparkly in a way. Interesting thing about uh, Latafa Aura is that you can even overspray it and it will not suffocate you. I wasn't weighted down by the fragrance. It's very comfortable in its wear, uh, the same as Baccarat Rouge 540 Extra. The sprayer creates a fine mist around you. This is one of those scents which enters the room before you do and which stays in that room long after you're gone. Definitely check out Aura by Latafa. I personally really like it. I got it for only 25 euros, so I think it's a steal. The next fragrance is Mora by Latafa in this black-ish bottle with red tassels. It's a smoky, dark plum with vanilla and patchouli. There's sandalwood, there's spices. I smell a similar plum in Anike number no. five that I have. And also I get a truffle accord. I often cook pasta with truffles, so I immediately recognize the truffle accord here. It's dark, it's sensual. Longevity is around six hours, sits closer to the skin, but again, I have been using it for two weeks only and I feel it needs to macerate a little bit as it is with Latafa and other Middle Eastern fragrances. You need to make a little dent and then let them sit and macerate for a while so they get more rounded, more potent and more projecting. Mora has a boozy accord as well. The booziness is quite nicely blended. It's balsamic and dark. I would say this fragrance is evening appropriate. I don't feel it fits the daytime vibe. It's more like an evening scent for going out, for dinners. Samora, a balsamic, smoky plum that will create a mysterious, sensual aura around you. The next fragrance is Kasamat Ebhar by Rasasi. And this is the one with purple tassels from the collection. Ebhar is a fruity gourmand. It's sweet, it's delicious smelling, it's creamy. The main notes I personally smell in here are apricots, peach, something like a whipped cream, oven-baked apple, 
with praline, saffron, cinnamon and nutmeg. In the dry down it gets lactonic. I was reminded of La Danza by Nobile, oven baked apple. Oddly enough, in the opening stages, it also reminded me of Atar collection Crystal Love with that apricot creamy ice cream vibe. So you see, it's not linear, it changes during the wear. So I'm pretty impressed with Kasamata Bhar. It doesn't last too long for a Middle Eastern fragrance, five hour mark. But I have a feeling it needs to macerate a little bit more. Mm, maybe essential, but more like um, gourmand, almost like in an edible way. The prices are jumping up and down, up and down. Just for the reference, 45 euros. So Kasamat Abhar by Rasasi. Last but not least, it's the opulent line by Lataffa in these epic style bottles. I made an in-depth review already and I will link that video below. But in short, opulent red, a boozy tuberose with cognac, blood orange, woody accords and jasmine. It's compared to Alien and Rouge Malachite by Armani Preve. It's very fun, very joyful fragrance for going out for music festivals. I really reach for it in humid, hot summer evenings. It's highly projecting, long-lasting, I get uh, around 10 hours. And you know, this is polarizing and shouldn't be blind bought, but let's be honest, where can we really test it out, you know? Opland Red is also a compliment getter. So Opland Red by Latafa. And the second one is Opland Mask. And I talked about it in my last video. A sparkly feel, invigorating blend of lemon, fluffy white mask, resins. And the saffron here is medicinal, that gives here this squeaky clean, fresh feel. It's easy to wear, highly projecting, it's very airy. And oddly enough, I got asked once if I'm wearing Baccarat Rouge, when in reality I was in opulent mask. So here you have it. So thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed. See you in my next video, bye!